Hello, hello, welcome. I'm super happy to be here today for this Jeremy Krause Approach Abilities Through Movement lesson. I have been in the last six weeks in 23 days of training with Jeremy Krause, which has been an epic adventure with super, so much, so much learning and so much joy in movement and experience. And I'm just very, very excited to be sharing this and bringing this out into the world in various ways. So and one of the things about Jeremy's work that I love and I'm so excited about and really interested in and feels like it's so good for me is this aspect of clarity. So yeah, I really find that there is a clarity in his work that when I experience it myself, I feel clear on many different levels. And I find that super interesting and super engaging. And so this series I'm going to teach um, in a few weeks called Moving and Thinking Clearly, we'll be exploring this. And today, specifically, we will explore clarifying our shoulder blades. And I will do a little demonstration on a skeleton just to show you what we're going to be looking at. And through the process, more will get revealed, more will get clear. But in the beginning, you may have certain movements or certain directions or certain positions that are not clear. And just so to welcome all of that, and that something that's not clear in one position, you might notice that it's not clear. And then we do a slight change in position and then you, ah, something gets more clear. So just to welcome the not clarity in the clarifying process. Okay. So let me show you this little skeleton. I don't have a big one today. We will be looking at the shoulder blade. And one thing that I learned from Jeremy years ago, and I've been, it's just a fruitful, very fruitful way of experiencing the shoulder is having to do with these three edges. So if you think of this, this inner border of the shoulder blade having three parts. So there's the, the middle, the middle border. So this middle edge the middle of the shoulder blade, and it speaks to this part of the spine in between the shoulder blades. And then if you go down to the bottom tip, this would be another one. And then this part of the shoulder speaks to the lower part of the thoracic spine here. And then the top border, you can see up here, you can find it speaks to the upper part of the thoracic spine. So these are the three places that we'll be noticing in sensation. And like I said, sometimes it won't be clear, um, but then sometimes it will. So just to be patient with yourself, compassionate in the sensing. And so when I say the middle border, I'll be speaking here, lower border, I'll be speaking here. And then the upper border is, is here. Let's, let's begin in standing first. So stand to begin with and notice what it's like to stand today, what you're aware of as you stand. And with this noticing, the, the interest is not to change with your willpower, something about your standing, make it different, but just to notice, ah, how is it now? How is it now to stand as we'll come back at the end? Where do you look with your eyes? And walk around a little bit and get a sense of what walking is like to begin with. And what do you notice as you walk? With this idea of clarifying the shoulder blades, it can be interesting also just to notice what is your image right now? What is your sensation of your shoulder blades as you walk right now? And then come to lie on your back.
And on your back, lie on your back with your arms down by your side, with your palms down to begin with, and your legs long if that's comfortable for you. If it's not comfortable to have both legs long, you can bend your knees. And notice the feedback from the floor today. And what is it that you sense when you bring attention to your contact with the floor? Do you notice any differences between your two sides when you pay attention like this? And how do you sense this area of your shoulder blades, shoulder places where your shoulders connect with the floor, lift away from the floor, and any differences you sense between the sides? And then also along the length of your spine, notice where you touch the floor, where you come away. And then pay attention to your breathing. And without intentionally changing something about how you're breathing, just with curiosity, notice the shape of your inhalation and the exhalation, the shapes. and the rhythm of your breath right now, where it moves. And then bend your knees and put your feet on the ground, your knees facing towards the ceiling. Find a place that's comfortable for your legs, your feet. And in this position, begin to do a movement with your pelvis where you take your lower back a little bit away from the floor and then let that go. So you'll tilt your pelvis so that there'll be a, a little bit of an arching in your back, just a small amount, and then you let go of the movement and repeat that several times really doing the amount of movement that feels very easy, simple, even if it's a very minimal amount of movement to begin with. And follow that movement through yourself. Notice along your spine, is there a traveling upwards? Or does it stop somewhere along your spine? And then in the letting go, what readjusts, what shifts in the letting go. Okay, pause for a moment, keep your knees bent. And then do the movement in the other direction. So you'll take your lower back towards the floor and then let that go. And notice how you do this. So your lower back goes towards the floor, your tailbone lifts a little bit away from the floor, like tilting your pelvis in this other way, and then you let go of the movement. And then you repeat. And each time you repeat it, you're just looking for how you do it, what you sense. How is this direction different in your sensation? And then pause. And now combine the two. So you tilt your pelvis. So your lower back comes away from the floor and then your lower back will come towards the floor. And this may be familiar movement for you, but come to it freshly, or maybe it's new for you. So bring your fresh attention to sense how, how does this travel through your spine today? And does the movement come all the way up in between your shoulder blades? Is there movement of your head and neck? 
And with these questions, there's no judgment. So if you don't notice, or if you notice something you think should be different, we just welcome it all. That's it. Back and forth. And then lower your legs and pause. I will be inviting pauses in between different explorations we'll do, but you can pause at any point. Or you can continue the movement at any point. Bend your knees once again, and have your arms down along your side with your palms facing towards the floor and begin to bring your attention to this area of the middle border of your shoulder blades and bring this area of your shoulder blades in the middle together on the two sides so that your shoulder blades move a bit towards your spine and then you let that go. And so look for it, look for the movement gently and start with the palms down. If you can, we, we will get to different positions of the arms, but just to see, is it possible to find this middle border coming together, the two shoulder blades coming towards each other? And you might notice that a sense of lifting in your chest in order for this to be possible. So your sternum coming a little bit towards the ceiling, and then you let that go. And then again, shoulder blades in the middle area coming together, and then pause. Just stay like this with your knees bent. And now bring your attention to the lower border or this tip of the shoulder blades. And now think of bringing this area towards your spine and the two sides coming together. And notice how this is different. And it may be that it's the same actual movement, but it's only your attention is different. Or you may find that you can sense in a different place of your shoulders, in a different place in your spine, a different sense of what lifts a bit away from the floor and then you let it go and repeat that a few times each time looking for how to make it more simple you might notice it's different on the two sides how maybe one shoulder blade leads a little bit and the other one follows And then pause. And now bring your attention to this upper border of the shoulder, shoulder blades. And think of bringing this area towards the spine on the two on the right side and the left side coming towards the spine at the same time. And just notice, hmm, how is that different? And does something different happen in your neck? and the distance of your chin from your chest when you think of this upper border coming close to the spine. And then can you stay with your shoulders in this position a bit towards the spine from the upper border and then just breathe. Stay here and breathe for a couple breaths. And then let that go, lengthen your legs, and notice what you're aware of now as you pause. And bend your knees once again. Have your arms down along your side, but this time change the orientation of your hands so you bring your palms facing up towards the ceiling 
And you can notice, do you do that just with the forearms or do you sense that your shoulder blades also change a bit their position? And for the moment, have your arms still down along by your side, not, not very far out to the side. We'll get to that in a moment, but just down along your side as much as is comfortable with the palms towards the ceiling. Okay. And then from here, let's begin with the lower border. Begin to take the lower border, the lower edge tip of your shoulder blades together. And notice how is it different to do this with your palms facing up? And then you let it go and repeat the movement. See how to find that. And then go ahead and pause with your hand staying in this position. Notice your breathing. And then think of the middle border now and begin to take the middle border of your shoulder blades together and then let that go and do that a few times. And notice when you direct your attention to this different place to move your shoulders from here, how does that affect your chest differently and your spine? And we're going to be doing a lot of this. So pace yourself so you can do the very beginning of the movement. You can do one movement and rest and think about it and then come back. And so just really take your time and Stay in a, in a pace that's enjoyable to you to sustain your comfort and your attention. And then pause. And now the upper border. So with the palms still facing up towards the ceiling, bring the upper border of your shoulder blades together. Again, sensing what happens to your neck and chin. Sternum. And then let all that go and pause, rest. Bend your knees once again, and this time bring your arms straight out to the side. So your palms will be facing towards the ceiling. Have your arms open out to the side. And in this situation, begin to take the bottom tip of your shoulder blades towards the spine. And notice how does this position change what happens and your ability to sense this area. So your arms are straight out to the sides, palms open. So they're in a parallel and just a straight line across. That's it. So the bottom tip coming towards the spine. And then pause. And then the middle border, middle edge, coming towards the spine. What do you do with your chest here to make space for your shoulders to come a bit together? And then pause. And now the upper border, making your way with your attention to this upper border coming towards the spine. And then lower your arms, lower your legs, 
rest. And as you're resting here, bring some attention to your breathing and notice if anything's changing and where the breath is moving now. Good. And then bend your knees again. And this time, bring your arms overhead on the floor, and you can find a place that's not straight, straight overhead, but where your arms can actually meet the floor. And if your arms cannot meet the floor, you can also bring the floor up with some uh, pillows or pads or blankets so that your arms can actually rest on something. And if this is still not a comfortable position for you, you can modify so you can go back to the arms out, but maybe just a little bit up. So take care that you're comfortable. And in this position, take the lower borders towards the spine and notice what changes, what you sense differently with this change in position. And notice what lets go when you let go of the movement. And then pause. And now the middle border, bring the middle edges, middle parts together. Pace yourself here. If you, it's too much for you to keep doing this, you can pause for longer and then join back in the lesson when you're ready. But if you're interested to keep going, you have the middle borders coming together towards the spine. And then pause. And then the upper border the upper point of the inside edge of the shoulder blade coming towards the spine and once again here notice how this area in particular has a different influence on the shape of your neck and the distance of your chin to your chest perhaps see if you can find that And then let that go, put everything down. And what's changing in the way that you're contacting the floor now compared to when we began? Bend your knees. And have your arms down along your side, this time with your palms down, and just return to these three directions of the shoulder blades coming towards the spine. And you can start with the lower border if you like, and do it a few times. See, is it any different now after having done these different combinations, different positions? So the lower border a few times, and then the middle border a few times and the upper border a few times. Is there anything different in your ability to find it? And then choose one of those, whichever one feels the easiest for you to find, and then stay there with your shoulders in this position to the degree that's comfortable for you. So a small amount of contraction there, maintaining the position. And then return to this movement of tilting your pelvis. So you take your lower back towards the floor and away from the floor while you maintain this position with your shoulders. And see, can you let the movement still travel through? And can you let your head move if it wants to move? And then pause.
and then choose another direction. So if you started with the middle border, then go to the lower border. So whichever one you haven't done yet, do the next one, find it a few times and then maintain it and tilt your pelvis. Rock your pelvis up and down and see if you can find this rocking through all the way to your head and it might be helpful to allow your eyes to close if that's comfortable so that your head can freely move in response to the pelvis. And then pause. And then do the third direction of the shoulders, which everyone you haven't done yet with the palms in this situation, maintain that and find this movement of the pelvis, how it travels through the spine while you hold this place with your shoulders. That's it. You can go slow, can go fast, whatever feels good. That's nice. And start slow though, yeah. Okay, and then let all that go. Pause, lengthen your legs. And notice now, And then bend your knees again, change over your hands so that you have your arms along your side, but bring your palms facing towards the ceiling and knees are bent and choose one of these borders to bring towards the spine and then begin to rock your pelvis, maintaining the maintaining the holding in the shoulders and letting the movement come through to the degree that it can easily while you keep this position of your shoulders a few times. And then you pause with the shoulders, let go of the holding. And then you do a second direction, either the, the bottom tip, if you haven't done that yet, or or the top and then hold that and do the movement of the shoulder of the pelvis. And then pause. And then the third variation, which one you have not done yet, find it, stay there and find this rocking of the pelvis through you. And then let all that go, lengthen your legs. Bend your knees, bring your arms straight out in a line, extend it out from your shoulders, palms facing towards the ceiling. And begin here, take the lower border of your shoulders towards the spine a few times, and then stay there with the tips of the shoulders towards the spine to the degree that's comfortable and make this movement of your pelvis. Rocking, taking the lower back away from the floor, towards the floor. You can notice if you use your feet to help you, what you do with your abdomen, your buttocks, your head and neck. And then pause. And then take the middle border towards the spine, the right side, the left side coming together once or twice, and then stay there 
and find this movement through your pelvis, through your spine. Be delicate with yourself of how much holding you do. Can it be the thought? Can it be the beginning? The amount that feels good. And then pause. And then the upper border. Take that area towards the spine. Stay there and do the rocking of the pelvis. And lower your arms, lower your legs, and rest. Notice your breathing. Is there anywhere else in your chest that has movement now that didn't before? And now bring your arms overhead on the floor, bend your knees. And once again, in this position, find the bottom tip of the shoulders, shoulder blades, move towards the spine a few times. So with the arms overhead. And then stay there and begin this rocking of the pelvis while you maintain the holding. while you let the breath come in and out. And then pause. And now the middle borders coming towards the spine, how you organize the chest differently to find this, stay there and let the movement travel through from the pelvis to the head. And then pause. And now the upper border Finding that once again, coming towards the spine. Stay there and rock your pelvis. And at any point you can pause and breathe. You can pause with the pelvis in one of those configurations and breathe or the other one. And then let the movement go through again. And then let all that go. Bring your arms down, your legs down, and now pay attention to how your contact, your overall contact with the floor is different. Is it different? And in particular, pay attention also to your breath and the movement in the chest and the upper ribs, and lower ribs, the armpits, collarbones, towards the floor and also towards the ceiling. And also low down in the belly. And one last time, bend your knees. 
and return to this rocking of the pelvis without holding in the shoulders. Take your lower back away from the floor and towards the floor and sense how does this move through you now? And is this different than what you experienced in the beginning? Does it move more clearly through the thoracic spine, through this area in between your shoulders? Or communicate to the head differently? Or maybe just a different quality that you sense? Or something else? And then lower your legs down. Take some time to enjoy the floor a bit more if you like, or if you're ready to come to sitting and to standing, you can do that. So take your time. And once you make your way up to standing, just take a moment to notice what stands out to you. What are you aware of in being upright after this lesson on the floor and these exploring these directions of the shoulders? Do you look somewhere different? in your space. And walk around a bit and notice as you walk. What are you aware of now? 